Chanju Bardu Dagni Kyasuchi Nagi Chanyen Gibe Sanamki Jola Penchir Sange Drubarsho Sange Chudam Soki Chonamla Chanju Bardu Dagni Kyasuchi Nagi Chanyen Gibe Sanamki Jola Venchir Sange Drubar Show Sange Chudam Soki Chonamla Janju Bardu Dagi Gatsuchi Dagi Chunyen Gibe Sonanki Jola Venchir Sange Drubar Show No, I'm fighting with the uh, well people. Oh, oh, let's see. What well people? The well people. Oh, the well people. The well on my cafe. Well <laughs> Water is very sensitive in Arizona. <laughs> There's a lot of politics about it. <laughs> Never mind, you don't want to know. Okay, progress report. This total text is 50 folios or 100 folio faces. We have done 36 folio faces in nine terms. We are now doing about four folio faces. By the way, we were extremely slow going through the nun's vows. Right. And now that those are cleared up, I think we're going to speed up, but I don't guarantee. Uh, so we can finish in 16 more terms. The last translation class will be in January 2025. OK, you're going to be a grandma by the time you finish the <laughs> Okay, mm. so it's my book. Gonna, uh, right, it's gonna take a few steps in between. Uh, it's possible. Well, Adams counts his. I mean, his whole six books or four books. I mean, uh, but your book we can't split it. You see, we can't split it. I'm sorry, it's one poem by its own compa. Uh, by the way, I'll show you another list. Uh, I think. No, uh, hang on. Mm. Yeah. Uh, progress reports. I did. Uh, okay, this one. Here's your combined progress report, in, which is kind of sexy, which I'll probably give to Dr. Wu after I finish. I didn't do myself. But there's a, uh, in, in one document you can see, you know, how many books we're going to put out. So here's Dr. Wu, which I'll talk about tomorrow when he comes. Uh, there's Nick, which I'll talk about during his class. There's Word whose classes will finish by the end of 2020 for his first book. Wow. Okay. The nerve. Uh, there's Allison, who will finish in 2025. And your book will be 400 pages. Uh, it'll be about the same size as the uh, Sunlight book. With the Tibetan Yeah. And, and we got to talk about, as a team, we have to talk about how we publish this, this stripped down version for non scholars. Mm -hmm. Or do you sell it as an arcane thing to put on your altar, which is what we've been doing so far? <laughs> okay. But that's, it's a limited market to people who have altars. Uh, ben, is, ben is close, uh, January 2021, one year from now. Uh, right, assuming no appendix. Seiji. Uh, yeah. 2021, uh, Utpala, 2020, May, yeah, and uh, we have to think about what's next, Stanley, uh, <laughs> okay, your first translation, book one translation class is finished in January 2021, but then uh, the final book still is coming out in 2046. Wow. By the way, here's his six mm. books. Okay. Six books. Yeah. That his, and I combined some chapters. I combined some shorter chapters. But Abhidharma is a big thing. Uh, <laughs> 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 a book is finished, but uh, how long you 
take you to report published? I knew you'd ask me that. <laughs> that depends on the editor who's sitting behind you. <laughs> just add another year. Yeah, another year, okay. Because it's got to be edited, you've got to look at it. Yeah. The editing is not an easy thing, and I've been, I haven't been talking about it because I didn't want to depress you guys. <laughs> My next question but is, when is the la next language you're reading? Yeah, that's another step. But it takes, to be honest, it takes many months to kick all the roaches out of the manuscript, you know? It takes many months to find all the small problems. You think you're done, you celebrate, and then she found 500 uh, roaches in my uh, sunlight book. And that was after I thought it was finished. Okay. Uh, so gang, uh, finish your translation trousers. To January 2021. Adam. Adam's total book is 1,600 pages. Uh, he can finish his first. Oh, his. If we if we work hard, we can finish his book this term. His first book. Then his second book is 2022. No, so he's slower than you. His fourth book will be out in 2027. My books, I didn't even look at them yet. So. <laughs> Okay, okay, here we go. Okay. Go. Talk like you're yelling at Stanley, okay? Like, <laughs> give it some. <laughs> they gotta hear you in the back. Okay. <laughs> Good. By the way, I'd like to point out something, praise myself further. There is nowhere in the world where everyone's doing this many different subjects in the same room. So we're covering all the major schools of Buddhism. That was the goal of this Mixed Nuts program. So I don't think what we're doing here has been done since Xuanzang, a Xuanzang. I, I don't think it's been done since then, uh, where you had all the great schools of Buddhism are being covered in the same room at the same time. So. Those first 38 volumes, which is what you're working on, uh, even if we stop there, that's about what Xuanzang did. Xuanzang? Xuanzang. What the heck? <laughs> that's about, he did uh, 76 small books, mostly small. Uh, it'll be about the same quantity as, as Xuanzang. Uh, and that changed China forever. You know, that changed billions of people's lives. Uh, so, you know, what you're doing here is, uh, if I may say, it's historical and hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> okay, so, uh, dear Nyemba Zopa, Nyemba Zopa means to become a full monk, okay, to become a full monk. Uh, Choga means the ritual, right? And he has chosen to do it through sache, sapche. By the way, this is an idiom, uh, you pronounce the B. Uh -huh. Yeah, he says, I'm just going to outline it for you. I'm not going to go through all the wording. And I propose that we follow him. Because <laughs> I, I, I went through it. I started to go through it. I started to fill in these parts. It would take you 10 more years. <laughs> See, these are the notes to one part, oh, man. and uh, I don't think it's worth it. And there must—I think there's a reason why he decided to do sub jeki rimba. Sam shik means hey, I'm just sticking to the outline. First, this guy does that. I'm not telling you the details. Then this guy does that. I'm not telling you the details. And I think we should stick to that. You know, if it doesn't really—in fact, it's kind of secret. You know, it's kind of a tradition not to uh, publish it for non-monks, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Only pass down early, or is there, are there like specific smaller books for each class of There are, ceremony? yeah, there are. There are whole books about gate souls, okay, so like you know. Cool. And the one book I was thinking, if you're, you know, when you become a great-grandmother, Tsongkhapa <laughs> uh, gave with Rendawa, his teacher, gave a famous series of lectures about Vinaya. Wow. And uh, they were recorded. And they are awesome. Cool. And I used them at Diamond Mountain for a, 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 a short lecture series. 
and it was awesome. Uh, it was overshadowed by other events, but uh, it was awesome. And uh, someone could work on that, if someone really wanted to work on that. Because it's not so complicated as this book. It treats more grand, the grand principles of Vinaya. So if someone were really into Vinaya, uh, that would be an interesting uh, book to translate. Okay, It's kind of the overall themes of Vinaya, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's a brilliant series of lectures by Tsongkhapa. And I believe Rindawa was there also. Okay, so anyway, here we go. I'm gonna je, I'm gonna describe je, just Samshik uh, through the steps of the outline, the ceremony for making a full monk. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, who, wait, we need a plane uh, driver here. So again, pick on her. Go again. This is high tone, Yarwa, because the G makes it high tone, Yarwa. By the way, why we put this uh, hyphen there? Because it's the only ambiguity. We don't want you to say Kyar. It's to indicate that the main letter is the Y. Okay. Yarwa. Sunche. Ki. Yeah, now in the first uh, few paragraphs, the outline structure is clear, and then it kind of breaks down, okay? So, you know, it'd be nice if he said step one, step two, step three. It starts out that way, and then later it gets kind of uh, diffuse, okay? But I was hoping, you know, I started to put step one, step two, and then I gave up. <laughs> uh, so don't, don't count this for much, okay? Here we go. Dunbar, first of all, and by the way, why I thought to he was going to help us that way, is this O with a double se uh, she. Oh, right. O with a double she means uh, now next section. Okay. Section. But it doesn't, he doesn't hold, as I remember, he doesn't hold the structure. Dhamba uh, Drupja. The person to be ordained. Nice. The object of the, of the accomplishment, the CD. <laughs> the CD. CD. The person to be made a monk, okay? But literally it's called the, the thing to be achieved. Lo mm Nishu. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should have 20 years. Yeah, Lumba means reached or aged. So th first of all, that's an aside, right? That's in a positive. This 20-year-old guy, this guy who's 20, I'm sure, okay? It means don't try making a monk out of somebody younger, okay? It's illegal. Which is very wise, right? And especially in a civilization where you live to 40. Then really this guy would be 35 at, in these times. You see? So he's, and it was a tradition not to make monks. Some people studied Tantra before they became a monk, like Atisha, you know? So it was a big deal to become a monk, and you had to be mature. Uh, I think they should change it to 35 or something. Uh, in, no, in a world where people live to 70 or 80, it should be half your life or something. You, you'll be a better monk. Mm -hmm. I was 31 or something like that. Yeah, that, that was good. I did all the sex things and all the rock and roll things. And, uh, okay, uh, 20 years old. And they should dip on Yambar be they want to get ordained, okay? That's uh, like, duh. <laughs> it's not like you grab them. But doesn't it happen nowadays sometimes that they kind of get pressured into becoming a monk? Yeah. 
But they, okay, they indicates the subject and the sentence. Those guys. Which is interesting because it implies that the responsibility for getting all the stuff together is up to the candidate. So Drupcha we can cr translate as candidate. Okay, so he has to do all this stuff. He's got to collect together all these things. Now here's a list of the things. <laughs> but he has to talk so chu. He has to get them all ready. Ducks in a row in English. <laughs> New idiom. Get your ducks in a row means have it all ready. This is ready, this is ready, this is ready. Ducks follow their mom. Back yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it's like get all your ducks in a row. I'm going to charge them for idiom. <laughs> I'm their idiom teacher, not idiot teacher. <laughs> so idiom teacher. Yeah, no, I'm an idiot. Uh, it is, right? Hunting. Like, yeah. yeah, it sucks at chimneys. <laughs> what does that mean? Is that like like I'm guessing it's so you can shoot a few of them. Maybe. Anyway, it means the, 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 the uh, what do you call it? The ordainer should say, bull. And it's right there, you know? It's like a, a fire offering. Yeah, and then, boom, the next one's there, the next one's there. Okay, everything's set. He got it. Sakshichu means get it all <laughs> set. Okay, so the subject of the sentence is the dupcha. The candidate has to sakshichu. That Im it's an interesting uh, I implication. Yeah. You're not babysitting him. Right. If he can't come up with some robes, you don't have to worry about it. Uh -huh. And he has to go find a bowl. <laughs> and it's interesting. I, for me, it's very intriguing. You know, I just walked in and they said, here's your ball. I'm like, okay. Yeah. You know, I didn't know anything. So anyway. Okay, chuga sum. The three, parts, the three, parts, of the the three parts of the legal robe. Okay. His slung say. Sage's ball. ball. Sage's ball. Not to be ever called. Begging, begging ball. ball. Begging ball. Mm -hmm. Hobo ball. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's text. And I touched on it last, no, it's coming later. It's coming down here. This is that book I was looking for, Professor. The Vinaya Sanskrit oh. book. Uh, because they are going to gloss Bhikshu, not as beggar, right. but as one who shines like the sun. Mm, uh, I like it. Uh, but we'll get there later. <laughs> So, uh, but I tried to prove it. I tried to find the Sanskrit, and we can't find it. We can't find the book. It's, all these experts tell me it's gone forever. So you got your lungse, you got your dingwa. It's really the cloth that goes over the cushion. So there's grass, and then there's dingwa. You bring your own dingwa in case somebody's been in a bed bug ridden house. <laughs> And you don't have to sit on their bed bugs, okay? They're really. Chew <laughs> talk. I need a chew talk. Strainer? <laughs> yeah, your strainer. For what? Straining out the insects from your water. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't hurt, it's just it's kind of fun, actually. <laughs> it's rough. My record is seven or eight, I think. <laughs> okay, trip talk means your uh, water, strainer. water strainer. And I love the part in the Vinaya that says, when you check for bugs and you use a chutzak, choose a monk who has compassion. Aww. It's very beautiful. Don't let a monk who doesn't have compassion do the chutzak. Don't let him check the water. He'll say, ah, a couple bugs, what the hell. You see? And the guy with compassion will say, we got one bug here. We can't drink this water. You see? It's very beautiful to me. OK. People say the Vinaya doesn't have compassion. You know, come on. OK. Chitsagnam, Saksachu, get ready those three. What? Your three robes, your bowl, your, your seat cover, seat cover. <laughs> and your uh, strainer. Chela. <laughs> Chela, past tense, so what's it mean? You did it. Yeah, he should have mm -hmm. done it. Mm -hmm. Okay, the candidate should have got it already before. Che, past tense. Okay, Chela. Now, what if he can't find them? Kelte mm manyena? -hmm. If he can't come up with those, okay, well, those chugusum you can use gyurungwa. Mm -hmm. 
whatever is suitable to be called a rahu? Okay. Almost. Whatever cloth, whatever. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the material. The material. See, the cause of the rose. Yeah. Giruma. You he, then then come to the ceremony with cloth which is suitable for robes oh, and that passes and there's a special I mean, I'm making, I'm making there's a special part of the full monks and full nuns ceremony where you can detour to blessing material which he's going to promise to make into a rubid in, within a few weeks or something got it, got it? Yes. yeah cuz it's sewing all those patches it takes why patches because it's supposed to be like it's something that you found in the It's trash supposed to be together. cloth found in the garbage. And nowadays they take fine cloth and cut it up and patch it. <laughs> it's just a joke. Okay. What will you be wearing if that, when you end up? Say again? What will you be wearing then? If you don't have one. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Uh, here, maybe here's a solution. Kelty <laughs> Manini, you can bring the... I, I guess you would just wear a white outfit. That's a lifetime oh, layman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, yeah, she would have her uh, novice robe for me. Okay. Good, uh, good answer. Uh, cell, somebody tell me why it's cool. Chalk cell. Yeah. This is the same word as prostrate. And because prostrate means to seek a boon from the hand of your lama. Chalk cell. Nam, namo buddhaya namas in Tibetan is to seek a gift from the hand. So this is seek, the word seek. Uh, no, it, what I'm saying is it's the same word. It's sexy, you know, for a person who loves words. This is sexy. Okay, kind of, so you go look for the material and show up with the material, you're okay. Okay, but it's got to be ruwa. Suitable. You know, don't come with a purple, you know, some purple <laughs> cloth <laughs> or silk cloth. You know, come with some appropriate cloth. Okay, this gyu means the stuff you use to make something, which is the meaning of gyu in 0.01 percent of all cases. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with cost. It just means the stuff you use to make something. Okay, and it's a rare use of the word gyu. There's also gyuwa, which means to run. So be careful with your gyus, okay? Huh? I believe so, yeah. With an S, it's guts, okay? Anyway, or illusion. All right. Sao uh, Xing. Or Shenam Yarwa. Or borrow the other stuff. Yeah, the other stuff, the ball, the, you know, the seat. You can borrow somebody else's and bring it to the ceremony and give it back to them after the ceremony. Like, no one's going to carry around a chutak nowadays. We have one chutak, we hold it in a storeroom, we all borrow it for the ceremony, and we put it back. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes the bowl is this big, so... Yeah. You need to have your own set up to get a You're supposed to. But nowadays there's water companies. <laughs> okay. But they shouldn't keep one nearby just for... just for respect for the old traditions. Now, maybe it's up to you to update all this after 2,000 years. This is out of date. The whole Vinaya is out of date. And you've got thousands of people trying to keep a system which should have been updated every 20 years or something. Yeah. It's 50 generations. They've been doing the same thing over and over again, which doesn't apply to these times. Half of it doesn't apply to these times. Somebody sh should have been updating it, you know. The Buddha at the end of the Vinaya Sutta, for example, uh, at the end of the Vinaya Sutta, which is not by the Buddha, it says Buddha has allowed us to update <laughs> these things, but nobody did it, okay? So what you've got is a bunch of outdated rules about not he getting help untying your s pepper packages. <laughs> you know, and you don't have anything about internet, like looking at porn on the internet, you know, so you don't, you don't have a, you don't have a, a rule about that. So, I mean, seems to me it should be updated, but by a very wise group of people. You see what I mean? Okay. Pachela, Kelti Maniya Chugasun, yeah, Yarwa, Yarwa means borrow it for somebody else. It's very common for non-English speakers to use to use loan for borrow. Mm. Right. Yeah. 
and it's confusing in Tibetan as well. The words are the same. Yeah. Borrow yeah. means you're the person who gets it. Loan means that you're the person who gives it. And you can almost tell that a person didn't grow up speaking English by how they treat Yarwa. Yeah. Okay, so get it right. Then people will think you're American. <laughs> <coughs> okay, Yarwa Tsunche Kigone. Tsunche means, uh, in a worst case, you can borrow it, etc. Tsunche means etc. On up. Or you could go and. Uh, like Atisha, what's that, with his razor blade, uh, Asanga. You could go put some money down, take the thing, use it, buy it online, send it back <laughs> after the ceremony. <laughs> Sunche means, or any other method, Sunche means start with borrowing or go up from there. Okay, like buy, buy half of it or, or put your money down on it. Or, yeah, yeah, Sunche means at least borrow it and maybe better. Maybe you could promise to pay for it later or something. Okay. Okay. Go ne. This yoche means uh, the articles you need are yeah, your stuff, your monk stuff. Okay. Yoche means stuff. All your monk stuff, your bowl, your, your filter, your robes. <coughs> Somewhere, this sangwa means it should be all complete. Collected. Yeah. Completely it also means a nest for incense. A, yeah, yeah, a high, yeah. a nest. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and therefore Jatsang means a monastery. A nest of monks. A nest of monks. So be careful with Sang. It can also be a verb for Sangyewa, to become enlightened. Mm -hmm. So be careful with Sang. This one means get all the stuff complete. I don't want anything left out. Is that's the implication. Chao is imperative. Do it. Okay. That's the first part. Unfortunately, the parts break down. Okay, go. Dene? Whoa, 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 who's got the plane? This plane is really wandering around. <coughs> no, don't make him correct you. He'll, get, he'll just get in trouble. <laughs> Go slower and pronounce more loudly and clearly, so he can criticize you fully. Good, nice. Uh, Dene with the comma, okay, don't get, don't get the comma lost because of the page number. So it's a pause. And then, okay, Dene, well, what's next? Well, the subject of the sentence in the instrumental, right? Mm -hmm. The Kimbo, which means the vowel giver, it doesn't mean abbot, okay? okay. Uh, the vowel yeah. giver. So what dep? So one dep. Request. He makes a request to <laughs> these guys to help out mm -hmm. the Lelo, mm -hmm. the master of ceremonies, mm -hmm. the Sanctan. Th those guys, that group of people. No, the one who checks for the. Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. Secret checker. Is that the Sanctan? Yeah, the Sanctan yeah. means the guy who takes the candidate into another room and checks secret stuff. <laughs> Guhya. Uh, Sanctan, okay. Mm -hmm. Then here can mean to demonstrate your sung things to him. Okay? Uh, and the gelong nam means the, remember there has to be a quorum, and there has to be another two, at least, right? If you count the kembo as one, kembo, lelop, sangten, and you gotta have two more. Then you have five, five witnesses, okay? I had heavy duty witnesses, I have a photo of that. 
I had all these habits, and I was like, ah. Okay. They're all like, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> give, give, what's his name? No, he's easy. Gyeron can turn He was a Vinaya master and very grumpy. And uh, if you sneezed, he canceled the ceremony. <laughs> okay, so summoned up. Uh, now, very, very beautiful sentence. Uh, Teta Ki, those guys, mm -hmm. moreover, not talking about the candidate, those guys as well should talk, investigate, or look into, mm -hmm. okay, their gyu. Rangyu. Their own mind. Their own heart. Mm -hmm. They should investigate their own heart and see if they have been polluted mm -hmm. or not by their own breaking vows. Mm -hmm. Okay, before you make a monk, do a quick cleanup and try not to do anything before you finish the ceremony. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the principle. Like, purify yourself fast. And start the ceremony right away. Don't stop for lunch. <laughs> and, then, and then this guy will be made a monk by pure people. And then after that, you immediately get angry at somebody. Or, and then you're polluted again. So this good doesn't mean clothing. W okay, we saw it above right here. Yeah, here it was three clothing articles. Mm -hmm. This good means polluted by. Uh, okay, it's like, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Just it means made dirty by something. Yeah, okay. Like yeah, like oh right, it comes kind of like that. Yeah. It comes with the minoni kind of. Yeah. It's kind of like gooey, so you can remember. Okay. <laughs> uh, so tungwa means downfalls, especially ones that would disqualify you from becoming a monk. Mm. So you people who have done major mistakes in their vows and are technically no longer monks shouldn't be making new monks because there won't be a quorum okay so, so can you find five people in the monastery here uh, that's a long story so downfall here is it a technical tungwa? i don't think it's a technical tungwa, okay. but it does have a slight implication of one that would disqualify them from performing a ceremony okay. a major it, it implies major but you don't have to translate it that way it's understood shock if they have seen any they have to shakpa Confess. Confess and then damba, which is always step two. The promise not to repeat. Yep. So this damba, like damtik, means to... This dam comes from a, a verb that means to tie a rope around something. Mm -hmm. So they should bind themselves. They say, first you confess, shakpa, and then you damba. And you, yeah, you promise not to do it again. And that's the essence of the four powers, right? Okay, damba. And then they should be blessed, you know. Somebody should say, okay, thank you for your confession. Thank you for promising not to do it. And I hereby bless your mind that you don't repeat that mistake. Okay, something like that. Okay, they should be blessed. Okay. This, I, uh, g is short for here. It's a tricky word because it can mean private or personal, but here it's gone. It's oh, short yeah. for gone. Yeah, by... Those three steps, confession, restraint, blessing, uh, they should takpa their gut. Purify their own mind stream. Yeah, they should purify their own mind stream. And then they can gather together, dua, into the lejaus. They can, they can gather many into the ranks. Good, perfect. Uh, the ranks of the ritual. Okay, le tell. Uh, they can join the ranks, oh, the ranks, meaning they can sit in the row yeah. and get ready to do the ritual. Step two is finished. Mm -hmm. We got the staff. I call it gathering the staff together. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the, what do you call it, ordination staff. Mm -hmm. the, guys, the guys you hired to do the organization staff. The, the, the guys you hired to do the ordination. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, how far is this going? Okay, let's try. I'm going to stop you halfway through, probably. Uh, Sugang, so wake up. <laughs> loudly and clearly and one by one. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, good. Tene, uh, and then next, Nemel means uh, this is a Nemel, uh, a uh, cushion. Okay, it can mean a mattress, uh, and there are many rules about the mattresses. Uh, so Nemel Sham, Sham means lay out. Okay, lay out the cushions uh, in the row. Yeah, Sham, Sham as a verb. And then lay uh, tail ke kongdu in front of the. Is it, is it uh, uh, sorry, no, it's okay. Uh, la here is a connector, conjunction. Uh, and tail ke kongdu in front of the rows of monks, put a tumbeku. Buddha statue? Yeah, a yeah. Buddha statue. Oh. Statue of Lord Buddha. It has to be Lord Buddha for an ordination, okay? Oh. You can't use Tara or something like that. Teacher. <laughs> Uh, that kusuk, that holy image, shuksusu means, would you please come and sit here? You know, ask the, ask the Buddha, put the statue there, like the medicine Buddha statue, and say, would you please be there? Okay, will you please be in that lapis and bronze? You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a very beautiful thing, you know. Look, we don't want an empty statue. Can you just sit there for a while? <laughs> Try to look like a statue. <laughs> okay. Shuksu so. Shing. Chin jar. I'll give you 20 bucks for that one. It's, it's a little tough. Chin jar. Any of those activities? Nah, you should give me 20 bucks. Whoever... Think about the other meanings of jorwa, jorpa. Oh. Assemble the other offerings. To, to join. Uh, jorpa means wealth. Oh, yeah. Okay, so chin jor means what, whatever you can afford. Meaning, as classy as you can pay for it. You know, as, as excellent offerings, chipa, as you can afford. So it's, it's uh, monk dependent. You know, there's a famous case of the monk who put a flat stone out and said, that's a mandala plate, because <laughs> he didn't have anything. You know? So that's fine. That's chinjor. Whatever you can afford personally. OK, chupa sham. That sham means lay out, right? Now it means you did it with the dens, and now you do it with the chupas. You know, lay out, lay out nice offerings. Yay, we got another one. Uh, I love this sentence. Come on. Come on, loud and clear. Let's go, Sigeng. Give her some trouble. Sorry, sorry, here we go, sorry. I'm sorry I jumped around on you. Uh, where were you? Dang. Good. Uh, by the candidate, right? Now subject of the sentence, right? <coughs> we always start a Tibetan sentence with instrumental, okay? By me, to the store was gone. Mm -hmm. They take their chuga, and this is so cute, like Chinzong can appreciate it. Make sure this idiot hasn't got his robes upside down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because those little flaps are facing up, and they all look so tired. <laughs> yeah. So make sure the flaps are down, okay? Go on juke, talk about it. So it's go juke, Top and bottom. Because okay, right. juke can mean a tail of a dog, for example. So go means head and juke means... Uh, uh -huh. Make sure he doesn't have them upside down. It happens every time there's an ordination. Mm -hmm. They put on the robes for 10 minutes and then it's all upside down. Yeah. Or they chi nung lo. Inside, inside out. Inside out. Yeah, they put them inside out. <laughs> That's an, ex an idiom, chi nung lo. Uh -huh. and, Every candidate's gonna do it. It's just for sure. Uh, 
it's going to be upside down and they're going to be wearing it with the outside in. The little flags are going to be facing in and they're going to be upside down and they're, they're going to be drooping. Okay. Sheet top means a four, f fold it into four mm -hmm. quarters. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, one, two, three, four. You know, fold it into four. I'm not going to unfold that because you don't want to see the stuff inside. <laughs> but, uh, okay. And they fold it lengthwise so it'll fit over the shoulder. You see what I mean? No, so you I take the whole robe and you fold it and then it, <laughs> like I do, so yeah. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Is there some blessing there? Okay. She dubbed the chain. After they have folded properly, Kembo and Yewe Star, they should walk up close to the Kembo, okay? Close by the Sami's place, right? R is instrument, uh, locative. Am I still there? <laughs> is it? Oh. Yeah, nothing. Is he still there? Maybe it's a chaplain. Help him, Ben. It's a chaplain. Okay. Okay. So they should go up close to the vow giver. The vow giver is still on their throne. And the monk comes up close to the <laughs> vow giver. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. <laughs> it's not. Uh, it's pretty minor. Okay. I think you're good. Ow. Uh, they should go up. They come up close to the throne so the guy can can fix everything. Okay. I mean, it's closer than normal because he's got to go, oh my God, it's all. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, so Kyang means to uh, Kyang Kum in Vajrayogini. One leg Kyang, one, one leg Kum. So Kyang means they should, then, then they should kind of extend them. Okay, and put them there. So I guess they're talking about l lay it out next to the vow giver. <coughs> okay, something like that. But in, but in tradition, you just keep it on your shoulder. Oh, you mean it's tender, Yeah, but you don't really do that. I mean, it does mean unfold them near the vow giver, but we don't do that. We just keep it here. Okay. <coughs> Are we on time? It's time now. Okay, I'm getting close. No, which one here? Say again. It's spelled correctly, I think. Isn't this a B? Isn't it? Oh, I bet it's a dumb car. Oh, it might be. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll check and see. Okay, stopped here. <coughs> one nine twenty. Asia, we have a picture to show. It's about a vow given place in Kyoto. Oh, cool. Can we jump to yeah. You show. Can you get on the. Can I get off? Can you get on? You don't have to. Oh, just join us. Oh, yeah, that's better. Oh, Should I unjoin? No, you don't have to no, do anything. You can't just. Oh, uh, here? Except. Yeah. Open it. Hold it. Is it down here somewhere? If you say accept here and then open in photos. Oh, okay. Yeah, there It's the most important. Uh, no, I have problems. Oh, okay. Forget it, you do it. Yeah, I have cartoons and stuff. That's Buddha Buddha. Wow, what the hell was that? That was pretty cool. That was way cooler than that stupid freaking movie that we could have on with us. It's a dumb yeah. car, guess It's a, yeah? Okay, let's take it as a dumb car. Oh, beautiful. This is the oh, the people take vows there? It's the, it's the master uh, in Tang Dynasty, there's a master called Master Jian Zheng, upon the request of the Japanese monks. Uh, the em em emperor of Japan, they want to the master of Vinaya in Tang Dynasty to teach the monk, uh -huh. to teach the Vinaya in Japan. So uh -huh. they travel to Tang, to, Tang Japan. To, Jap to China. And then request the master Jian Zhen to travel to Japan to teach them Vinaya. Uh -huh. And then after six uh, traveling, finally at the last time, Master Jian Zhen arrived safely in Japan. And then this is in Nala. And then Master Nala, Nala, Nala. Nala. Nala in uh -huh. Japan. Uh -huh. Master Jian Zhen gave over 400 people vows, including wow. the Emperor, Empress, and and they take Bodhisattva. Bodhisattva. Yeah. Uh, they gave Bodhisattva to the Bodhisattva. They gave Bodhisattva to 30 people there? No, no, you gave. <laughs> we only 60. Yeah, no, you did. Oh, well, anyway. <laughs> that you guys so, did it there? 
Uh, near. Oh. Oh, okay. No, that, uh, that area. But they took the vows of all Same island? People. Same island. Just kidding. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's a big so island. It's a big island. Took they call it in Japan. And the royal families and the monks took vows here. So it's. Yeah. Jin, Jin. Wow. Jin. So it was before uh, Taizong passed away or something? Or after Taizong, probably? Yeah, During his right. son's time, probably. <laughs> Yeah. But this is the same so you got five minutes. Yeah, I gotta go. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. And they help people get bodhisattva vows there. Cool. A couple weeks ago? Two no, weeks no, ago? No, no, no. They took vows from 